welcome back to another episode of Versatile Gun Dogs, The Training Table, where we focus on the hunting and training topics that help you maximize the potential out of your versatile gun dog. Hi, I'm Scott Brozier, professional gun dog trainer for Pine Hill Kennel. And today we are working on some grouse and woodcock exposure with some young dogs. Uh, in fact, I have six of them today, a couple labs, a springer, and a couple drothars that uh, been a little bit since they've been on birds. But in the springtime when the woodcock are coming back, uh, it provides a wonderful opportunity to get on some birds, especially reacquaint them to woodcock and grouse. Fortunately, uh, we've got some good weather today and uh, I look forward to uh, demonstrating what some of these pups can do. It I had already put a little pressure on this bird and it flushed before this dog came into the scent cone, which is why you can see he's a little soft at right. this point. He knew it was gone. Where is he? Boy. So many times well, on this good day's boy. Well, training good. expedition, I was always in the wrong place with the camera and looking the wrong direction when the bird flushed. As is this the case, it flushed before I could get there. While flipping back and forth between photo and video mode, I missed several opportunities at capturing good solid points and bird flushes, especially with this young dog named Scout. That said, I captured this image that pretty much sums up what it feels like to be a grouse hunter. Being able to process what your dog's body language is communicating is equally as important as knowing where to find birds. As you become more aware of the consistent behaviors that correlate to specific outcomes, you and your dog will begin to find more birds. This young Dratar named Bowler did a nice job of really working this grouse that he's about to lock into. I had to woe him because he was pushing a little too much. Here Riot acknowledges where a bird hits, run off right. the trail and back into the aspen thicket where he tracked it very well and of course I was out of position for a video shot but I did get him on point. I was pretty disappointed right here because Good Jess girl. did a really nice job pointing Good and job. by the time I got the video camera into position that bird was gone. Put a bird up right here. Go. This little black lab named Rose did a really nice job today on some woodcock. Unfortunately, again, I was just not in a good position to capture it on video. Good. 
worked a little handling obedience here just before we got into the real sweet spot for where the birds were. It was tough finding areas that didn't have a ton of snow, but everywhere I worked areas that had the south facing slopes or exposure to the sun and we had bare ground, always seemed to have birds, whether it was grouse or woodcock. Rush is about to get birdie here in a second just off camera and he does a nice job of pushing this woodcock into the sky unfortunately I just didn't have the camera in position for it as Rush really got birdie here I could see something brown running out in front of him I thought it was a grouse but it ended up being a a snowshoe rabbit. Nope, rabbit. Snowshoe. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate any comments that you would like to offer in the comment section below. Tell us what you liked, what you disliked, and perhaps any ideas that you might have for future episodes that you'd like to see. Again, we appreciate your time and look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Take care. Good hunting.